Hello friends, today in this video I will talk about that whether bureaucracy should know the English language or not. The bureaucracy uh, which is working in a specific country and uh, its uh, first language is not English language and uh, they are working on a high level, on a high grade and if they don't know the English language, I think they are not able to communicate with other bureaucrats of other countries. Uh, so it is a necessary and must for bureaucracy working in non-native English speaking country should know the English language. Because English is international language you know and uh, if uh, bureaucracy is not eligible to speak English language then uh, this will be the bad effect on that country. And uh, the officials of uh, that country should appoint uh, those bureaucrats uh, who are good in English language so that uh, they can communicate uh, with other uh, people, those come from other countries uh, into their country. And uh, when they will communicate, they will uh, discuss in proper way about their institutions and they can get benefits uh, from others. And if uh, they are not uh, eligible to speak English language, they will have to hire uh, some translators. And uh, it looks uh, bad when uh, you are talking in your national language and a translator is uh, uh, making the translation of your uh, speech, your dialogues uh, to make other person understand. So if you yourself uh, know the English language, it is uh, the good and great impact uh, and uh, you will speak uh, whatever in your mind and you will speak uh, in proper way. You will make other person understand. Otherwise, uh, if you are not eligible, uh, to know the English language, then uh, it will be difficult for you to communicate or to understand uh, there are some legal papers, documents, uh, those are in English language and uh, if you don't know the English language, uh, you are not competent uh, and uh, you are not able to understand uh, what is uh, uh, written in those papers. In this way, uh, there are chances of some fraudulent groups uh, uh, to cheat you. So I think that uh, if you are working in a non-native English speaking country, your first language is not English language, you are speaking English as a second language, it is necessary for upper grade people, those are called the bureaucrats of the country, should know the English language. And high officials, the government should appoint such people, those are good in English language and there must be a test before appointing them uh, so that uh, I have seen that in uh, some uh, countries, uh, those are underdeveloped countries, uh, non-native English speaking countries, the bureaucrats are not eligible to speak the English language. When it comes to speak uh, the English language, they fail because uh, they, they have done, they have passed the classes of high level. And they have no practical experience of speaking English language. So I think that there should be some coaching, some practical academies, some, they should join some academies where they can learn how to speak English language, practical experience. Because speaking comes through speaking. When they will not speak, they are not able to speak the language. For speaking, reading is not enough. They can read the books to pass the examination but for speaking it requires a practical experience and in some countries spoken English is not encouraged. They only teach the English language just to pass the examination. They don't communicate in English language even in universities, colleges. So I think that if you are a bureaucrat if you are willing to become bureaucrat of a country, then you must learn the English language as you know that it is international language to communicate with other countries, nationals or other countries bureaucrats. Hope you find this video useful. In next video, we will talk about some other topics. Till then, allow me and if you are new on this channel, please consider subscribing this channel so that you never miss our other videos. I am Taf Malik and you are watching me on my English language channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.